A can't intubate, can't oxygenate situation arises when attempts to manage the airway by tracheal intubation, face mask ventilation, and supraglottic airway devices have failed. Hypoxic brain damage and death will occur if the situation is not rapidly resolved, so front of the neck axis is needed. I will demonstrate the scalpel cricothyroidotomy technique described in the 2015 Difficult Airway Society guidelines. It can be summarized as stab, twist, boogie, tube. The equipment needed is a scalpel, and you use whatever you have immediately at hand, though the algorithm recommends a size 10 blade, and a boogie, which preferably is hollow cord, as it allows for the possibility to oxygenate as an intermediate step, and a standard endotracheal tube, while size 6 is recommended, once again, use what you have at hand. To perform the technique, do the laryngeal handshake. You have to find the larynx and feel the cartilage under your fingers. Feel down the midline with a finger and identify the thyroid and cricoid cartilage and the cricothyroid membrane. If you can't feel the cartilage clearly at this stage, for example in a patient with a fat neck, make a vertical incision and dissect bluntly with your fingers until you feel the structures. When you're confident about the anatomical landmarks, make a stab incision in the cricothyroid membrane. Do this vertically, so you have the wide, broad cartilage part of the cricoid behind the tip of the blade. Then turn the blade sideways so the sharp edge points caudally. Pull the scalpel towards you to open up the incision, then take the boogie and slide the tip down the scalpel blade into the trachea. The boogie should move freely. Now remove the scalpel and confirm once again that the boogie moves freely. If it's a hollow core boogie, it's possible to oxygenate at this stage. The endotracheal tube is railroaded on the boogie into the trachea. It can be a bit tricky to pass the soft tissues, particularly on this mannequin, so a slight rotating motion might be required to get into position into the trachea. The boogie is removed and the cuff is inflated. At this point, the position is confirmed using capnography and the raising of the chest wall during ventilation, taking special care not to lose the position of the endotracheal tube. A patent airway has now been achieved.